combined gas law. In the event that all three parameters, pressure, volume, and temperature, are changing, their combined relationship is defined as follows at constant number of n, meaning number of moles. PV is proportional to te temperature, the absolute temperature, at constant number of moles, meaning basically that PV over T is equal to some constant. Therefore, in the combined gas law, we got P1V1 over T1 is equal to P2V2 over T2. Once again, temperature must be at in Kelvin, and we're talking about constant number of moles. Note, the combined gas law involves all three previous laws discussed and can be used to solve any problems involving constant M. If any of the variables are constant, they will simply cancel out in the calculation. So all your equations are basically here. Say, for instance, you are at constant N and constant temperature. Well, you know, if I take off T1 because it's a constant, it's going to cancel out. I have PV equals PV, Paul's law. If I have a constant volume, I have P1 over T1 is equal to P2 over T2. Constant pressure, V1 over T1 is equal to V2 over T2. So all your equations are right here at your fingertips. You just take out the constant. Let's look at an example. Sample of carbon dioxide gas occupies 4.5 liters at 30 degrees C and 650 millimeters of mercury. What volume would it occupy at 800 millimeters of mercury and 200 degrees C? We assume comp constant number of moles of gas since there is no evidence of gas escaping. Since this problem involves one set of conditions as compared to another set of conditions, we would use the combined gas law. We know the temperature, volume, and pressure of the gas, and are given a new temperature and pressure so we can easily solve for the new volume. We'll call 4.5 liters volume 1. We'll call 30 degrees C temperature 1, which we know we got to convert to Kelvin. We'll call 650 millimeters mercury pressure 1. 800 millimeters mercury pressure 2, and T2 would be 200 degrees C, which we have to convert, which is 473 Kelvin. We must make an effort to keep our one condition stuff together and our two condition stuff together if we don't want to make errors in calculations. So we get PV over T equals PV over T. We will solve for V2 and use the Kelvin temperatures. So that gives us V2 is equal to P1 V1 T2 over P2 T1. Plug in our values, 650 millimeters of mercury for P1, 4.5 liters for V1, 473 Kelvin for T2, 800 millimeters of mercury for P2, and 303 Kelvin for T1. Cancel our units. As long as they're the same, they're canceled, except for the temperature. That must be in Kelvin. And we get 5.7 liters. Homework 41.